Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Yang's Life Tips channel. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, switch on the bell, then you will not miss any future new videos. Today I'm going to share with you how to solve the problem for Microsoft Edge when you cannot play videos, in particular in YouTube. Very often, when your desktop computer has reinstalled Microsoft Windows 10 or upgrade Windows 10, or when you install Microsoft Edge to your computer, then you will have this warning problem, which says your browser does not currently recognize any of the video formats available. Please click here to visit our frequently asked question about HTML5 video. So when you have this sign, you will not be able to view any video uh, from your computer or even on a website like YouTube. What you can do, you can search for the settings from the bottom by click window sign or press that button. After search settings, you will find the setting app on the top left. After click that, you will go to this page, which show all the options for Windows setting. Click the system, it will bring you to this page. Then you click about from the left panel. Then you will read all the specs for your PC. Two particular very important you need to write down. One is the device specification. For example, if your Windows is a 64 base or if your Windows is 32 bit operating system. Secondly, you need to find out the Windows specification. For example, like my Windows is a Windows 10 Education N version. The version is 1803. You need to remember this number and the Windows version. After that, you go to the Google to search for media feature pack list 1803. This number is for my Windows. For your PC, you may have different version. Please do remember put the right one there. Then I can click Download Windows 10 Media Feature Pack from the Microsoft official website. Do not go to a third party because third party, they may have a virus or they may have a AD to attach to that pack. Very, very careful of that. So go to Microsoft website, it will be safer. Then you come to this page. On this page, on the bottom, you can see the media feature pack list. When you go further down to the bottom of that page, you can find a list of different versions of the Windows. On the left hand side, I got Windows 10. Then for Windows 10, you have a different version numbers. For me, it's 1803. You need to choose this one. You click the link on the right hand side panel which will bring you to the next page. On this page, if you look at the bottom of this screen, there is a very small, tiny or software download service. Click that link. It will bring you to this page. On this page, you have a third option for the downloads. Again, you need to make sure you choose the right one. For me, it's a media feature pack version 1803 which was released on April 2018. If you choose the wrong one, you will get a message you say, which is not fit to your Windows version. When you click this one, then you will get another option. You need to choose either 32-bit download or 64-bit. For me, for my computer, it's 64. So I click this one, you will find a small download files from the bottom left corner. When you click the drop down menu, you will uh, find a list. Then you choose the top one, it's open when done, which means when the file was downloaded completely, it will automatically open the file, which start installation. For example here, 
Later, we ask you, Windows Updating Standalone Installer. Do you want to install the following Windows software update? A feature pack for Windows, this is the number. Then you click Yes. So after that, the computer will start to copy the package to the Windows Update cache. This will take a few minutes. After that, it will show a window to tell you um, do you accept the lessons term or not? You have to say yes, I accept. Uh, after that, then the updates are being installed. This will take another 20 minutes. Depends how fast your computer is. This is on the process, on the installation of the updating of this package. After that, the installation is complete. Then you need to click restart now. Make sure you have saved any other work you deal with with your computer. For example, if you have a Word document, PowerPoint, Excel, or email, you need to save that file first. Otherwise, you may lost what you have done. Then you click start now. After restart Windows, you will be able to play videos and also view the videos on YouTube. If you like my video, please thumb up. Please also subscribe to my channel. You will not miss any future video.